double down toy review here. More of a double down toy rant. It's gonna be a rant, folks. Buckle <clears throat> up. I'm Tim. <laughs> I'm Tyler. Take it away. <laughs> All right. Picked up this three pack Marvel Studios first ten years uh, set with Thanos, Doctor Strange, and Iron Man from the Infinity War movies. So, so <sighs> tell me what. Tell me. Tell me what don't you like about this set? <laughs> Pay seventy dollars plus tax for this set of three figures, which are usually about twenty dollars each. So it should have been like sixty plus tax because they don't come with a ton of accessories beyond what they normally come with. And this is basically a reissued build a figure with a different paint job. We'll get to that later. This is the only figure worth a damn in this whole set. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong, the paint uh, the paint on this figure looks a lot better than the build a figure one, where he's like that dark blue, but he's like super shiny. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Good guy. Okay. Doctor, we'll we'll talk, talk about Doctor Strange first. All right figure. Better sculpt than the original. Cooler cape and sculpt and uh, coloring is better. There's these weird age lines on his forehead. Like Oh, you're right. Completely, like, like, com almost like he's like... <laughs> completely <laughs> overdone. It just looks like someone drew two lines across his forehead. Like, yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah, he would look weird. fine without them. Um, I don't know. He comes with the spell, which looks like an almost exactly the same spell as the uh, other Doctor Strange came with. This one, the original release from the movie, <clears throat> basically came with this exact same spell. So for some reason, they did his time spell on this figure, and it's molded onto his arm, so you can't take it off. They didn't give you an alternate hand or anything, so this is just stuck on here. That's, that's so weird. That's worth the money. Could have just done a pop-off arm or something, so that's stupid. So you're just limited to what you can do with that. And then the cape, which is cooler, so you might want to like swap out something here and there, but you can't because this one is like an over-the-head thing and not a peg thing, so you have to cut the peg off of this one to put it on this one to switch the head. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. If he had a pop a different arm, this figure won't end without the stupid forehead line. So is this Doctor this Strange be technically supposed to be Infinity War Doctor Strange? I believe so, yeah. Because, like... Does he have the light blue? No, he doesn't. He doesn't even have... Because in Infinity War, Doctor Strange has, like, the light blue... Yeah, his, blue, like, cross thing. Yeah, the insignia for the Master of the Mystic Arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, this clearly does not have it. It's funny, because I almost prefer the paint job on this one. Aside from the head sculpt, I almost prefer the paint job on that. I do prefer the paint... I, <laughs> I take back what I said. I like that paint job more. Definitively, he's gonna say. Except for some reason, that head sculpt looks like his like he's got like a side shave. <laughs> yeah, that was a big problem with that figure. Everyone was like, "What's with the haircut?" Yeah. Let's see if we can pop these off and swap them right now. <laughs> What's with the haircut? <laughs> Watch, they put a different size peg on. That's it. very possible. It uh, happens all the time. Looks, looks close. All right, so that fits. Let's put the cape on with the peg, and we'll just we can we can deal with the peg later. I said we cut the peg out. So to get a decent Doctor Strange, you have to buy two figures to get the head sculpt and without this stupid arm, and then you have to modify the cape on top of all that. So that was worth the money. <clears throat> now let's yeah, the talk detail about the detail on the cape though, like the inside of the cape at least looks really good, and they have his little gold emblem. That one doesn't even have the right emblem on there. I feel like what happens a lot with these figures is they get like like production art. art or something, yeah. and then they and have then to make the figure off, off that, that to get it out in time. Okay, and then we get to talk about Infinity War, Iron Man. Um, this is basically a half meal toy. <laughs> like this, this is worth five dollars. He's like this cheap hollow plastic, and he's got this stupid light up feature. Wow, <laughs> but that's <laughs> and, in turn of having that that light up feature though it. You don't get chest away from. You have no chest articulation at all on the torso because of the stupid light up feature, and the light is so bright that it makes like his entire chest cavity glow. It, in the dark, you see this really well. Maybe I'll try to put a shot of that or something in there. Um, the paint what, job how it, like, on his eyes. Around yeah, all the plastic, the plastic glows instead, instead of just the plastic, arc reactor. Yeah. Yes, because it's cheap and garbage. Uh, the mask, his paint job on his eyes is terrible. Yeah, Did I you saw see that? that. I saw that before. Just slop in there. It's yeah. like they just like. Slopped white paint in the eyes, and it's not even like directly on the eyes. 
It's kind of weird because it looks like almost that blue that they put on here is just kind of slapped around. Yep. Like it doesn't look like it was like finely brushed in or anything like that. It was just slapped around. And I feel like maybe it's not so bad down there. It's like some of the gold almost looks like it doesn't match like the tints between like his thigh and his calf or not his calf, his thigh and his hip. <clears throat> like the I don't know, the paint job is weird on there. And they got this giant battery hatch on the back and a switch back here. There's so a like, switch too? Yeah. I don't know what it does. Oh maybe. my god. Oh. I guess it makes that turn on and off differently. This way it makes it last longer. Yeah. And his arms are, feel really cheap and the articulation is all stiff. <laughs> so he can't lay his arms flush at his sides because of the way the articulation is. Uh, he came with two alternate hands, so you can have fists or his shooting hands. The hell are these? these <laughs> you get a, an Iceman too, or what? <laughs> Those are for the Tony Stark super soaker hands. So you can have this shooting effect if you want, with his weird limited shoulder articulation. It looks like a goon. <laughs> uh, looks like a goon. <laughs> I think you could... Let's try it. Apparently that just pops right out. Explosion effect comes off the, the laser, I guess, if you want to, for some reason. I don't know if this will go in his foot hole, does it? Is it supposed to? <clears throat> Maybe you could have it look like a jet coming out of his boot, who cares? But it, the way that the articulation works on it, there's like almost not enough posability <laughs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like a dork. I don't know what it is with this figure. <laughs> Iron Man, garbage articulation, mediocre paint job, sloppy paint, uh, stupid light up feature for a Happy Meal toy. Garbage figure. <laughs> uh, stupid. Thanos is the only figure worth anything in this because he is basically a reissue of this. Now that you see the comparison, terribly colored other Thanos from the Build a Figure set from the first Infinity War wave, I yep. believe it was with. Yep. Um, but they did. His gold armor much better on this. Like you can even see, there's like detail on his chest that's not there on this one. Oh yeah, it's got like the, the little detail line like work. Yep, details up here. This is like I don't even know. This is a whole new head sculpt, right? Completely different. All, both of these head sculpts are different from this one. This I was gonna one, say that got, one's got like a weird he's smile. He's like got a little smile on his face. In this one, you get the angry Thanos, and the gold on his gauntlet on this is better too than on the other build a figure hmm. uh, arm. And then this, the other Thanos head sculpt is just kind of like a, I don't know, he's just straight-faced, not angry or anything. Destiny arrives. <laughs> he's just, or should I say, I have. <laughs> and this is his angry fighting face. So, this guy's heavy duty, he's a big figure. You get some cool little angry poses out of this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so... But, I mean, worth $70? This guy's not worth $70. I was just going to say. So, <laughs> Which is too bad that Hasbro thought they needed to just reissue this guy so soon after this figure came out. Even though this figure is far superior than this one. Oh, yeah. But I would have This should have been the Build-A figure, and then this never should have existed. And <laughs> I would have rather that the three-pack came with... Thanos in his full-blown armor. Yeah, they like could have the done beginning that. of the movie when he has the uh, on the um, Thor's ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, with the helmet and everything. That would have been cool. They should have done Thanos in his armor, and then Corvus Glaive and the Maw should have been the three pack because we don't have those guys yet. That's true. And instead of reissuing these, I would have easily paid seventy dollars for that three pack. I'd have paid eighty dollars for that three pack. Three if, figures if, we didn't have yet. If the paint application looked as good as this. <laughs> yeah. Not, and and, and Ebony Maw didn't have something stupid like glued a light to his hand. Feature or a or light up head feature. Like a sound box or something. <laughs> it's like it's like that gross crackle sound when like old <laughs> cheap super, it's like <laughs> cheap <audio. laughs> Yeah. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to, like, kitbash a Doctor Strange figure out of two figures to, to get make a, a definitive a, Doctor Strange Doctor figure. Strange figure worth it. And then you can get rid of your old Thanos, because this is the definitive Thanos for now, unless they make another one with the armor on it. And then he's like, cooler. there's one thing I hate in this world, the Master of Mystic Arts. <laughs> <laughs>
This is it, but he's not worth $70. So do not buy this for $70. Scale one third of one, this set is worth it. Uh, scale one to 10, how many Josh Brolins do you give it? I'm gonna give it three and a half Josh Brolin. <laughs> three and a half Josh Brolin. That's not good, Josh Brolin. <laughs> no offense to Josh Brolin, he's awesome. Look at this awesome Iron Man figure that I got from like a million years ago from the Marvel Legends series. All sorts of articulation. I got chest movements and stuff. I can fly. Does this one have a light up feature or anything? Mm -hmm. No, because it's not for McDonald's Happy Meal toys. I was gonna say good, it doesn't need it. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's getting angry, folks. He's going to hulk out in a second. Here's another Thanos from the comic book wave, just to compare against the movie Thanos. The movie Thanos is a little bigger, a little heftier, and he's got the Infinity Gauntlet. I know they're re this is the Build-A-Figure right, version. Just... Uh, yeah, see? Look at that articulation. No problem. He's all stiff and stupid looking. <laughs> um, this was the Build-A-Figure Thanos... Re-released this figure almost exactly the same, except they added a uh, Infinity Gauntlet on his hand. He was a Walmart exclusive. Same figure, though. Uh, might have some different paint apps, but... Yeah. So, there you go. That's my rant. Three and a half Brolins out of ten Brolins. Mm. Wait for clearance. Hasbro, you did us dirty. You've done better than that. I know you can do better than that. Don't let me down. This Don't let us nice. down. We love... This new tech you use with this face printing. This guy is great. And most of your figures are great. We love eating up the Marvel Legends. But two-thirds of this was trash. Not Well, not to mention... You have the Digitech f paint mapping that they do now. This, like, this right here shows how good it can look. And then you have that total crap Iron Man where the paint colors almost don't match mm -hmm. it looks sloppy like mm -hmm. I thought it might have been when I first saw that Iron Man and I was looking at it up close the way the paint was just slapped in on the eyes I literally was like is this like a defective one that some <laughs> guy just crammed into a box to be funny or maybe it is like <clears throat> yeah, well, I didn't find it funny. <laughs> well, I'm not in on the joke. <laughs> um, no, like you said, this Iron Man right here, personally, I like. I like this one much more. Um, I just I don't. Know, is this Civil War Iron Man? I don't know what Iron Man is. I think so. I, I'm not a big fan of how the nanotech armor looks. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like a little too sleek. I like him more like boxy and mechanical. Yeah, I don't know. that's just me. I don't know what your thoughts are. Leave it in the comments below. Wait for clearance on this guy. Yeah. It's just, it, the, the other figures aren't worth it. That, you know, if they wanted to do an Iron Man, he should have come with an uh, alternate, like, damaged mask or something. Yeah, like, like bro broken up mask. Yeah, because he takes a ton of damage in that movie, and they could have used their new tech or, instead you know of what? that to, shiny garbage. To hit the $70 price point that they wanted to have, why not have that Iron Man come with more than a fist and some really cheap little blast beams. Like, this this is the showdown to Thanos. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they have... With their big 10-year anniver <clears throat> anniversary Yeah, set. why wouldn't they have the big, like, the blade that he makes when he tries to stab Thanos? Why wouldn't they have him have the big stupid foot cannon yeah, thing, the like, the jetpack? He also has that, like, those two guns that, like, come out of his hands, and, like, the things that go on his... They could have done so much of that figure, and then they just toss a light bulb in his chest, and it looks like garbage. Wait for clearance. Three and a half out of ten. Destiny arrived.